forth its one blossom, and every year this one blossom puts forth one polka dotted egg fruit. And every year the polka dotted egg fruit falls into the Great Falls, floats down the river delicious, and out into Shark Bay. This arrival is always cause for a festival. But this year the polka dotted egg fruit has not arrived. Now I know that you know that without a polka dotted egg fruit floating out into Shark Bay, the poor little woolly landlings, those nearly extinct fish that live in the bottom of Shark Bay, will go hungry. I know I speak for all Sun Touch when I bid these great heroes, Princess Leela, Speed, and Miss Doctor, bon voyage! Godspeed and safe return from your noble and brave quest. Our hearts are with you. Hip hip. I knew I had some here somewhere. It was just here yesterday. I know it was. Now, where is it? Has anyone seen my fish oil? I say, has anyone seen my fish oil? What's the matter, my little tranquilizer? Somebody, and I bet I know who, took the last of my fish oil. Bleh. Don't you know I'll get wrinkles without my oil? <laughs> oh, no. I see one already. I'll scow me scuppers if them big clouds don't be rain over Shark Bay. Let's hope the balloon gets back before any big storm hits. I'm out of oil. My skin is drying up, and you tell me you're going fishing. I'm suffering, and you're going fishing. Now, now, my little morning glory, suffer not. It just so happens this is the perfect time of the year to go fishing for woolly lanolins, the source of your beloved oil. Oh, my darling Clarence. My hero, my champion, my knight in shining armor. Farewell. I go now to sit in my darkened room and await your return. Oh, oh my. <laughs> well, Pluto, are you ready? But I don't want to go fishing. I hate fish. Especially fish with big mouths and sharp teeth. Like that big white one in Shark Bay. You have no fear. I'm preparing some shark repellent. Two cups of purple dye. <laughs> the sharks hate purple, you know. Three cups of white pepper. They hate to sneeze. And a drop of silly sauce. <laughs> oh, does that say a teaspoon? Pluto, does that say a teaspoon? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to read those words. Oh, well, no matter. Teaspoon, tablespoon, a pint, a quarter gallon. Better too much than too little. Oh, sailor, I just don't understand those woolly lanolin fish. To think the only thing they eat is oily polka dotted egg fruit. And worse, to think they only eat once a year. No wonder they don't have any babies. From here to sea, it is my observation that Neptune's creatures have their own ways of being. Well, they may have their own ways, but if I can get them to eat just one of these chuckaberry tarts, I'm sure they'd find them delicious. <laughs> well, getting a woolly landlord to eat a chuckaberry tart would be about as hard as stopping that summer storm from coming in. I'm sure that if the woolly landlords would only take one bite, this extinction business would be all over. Mmm. -hmm. trying, but with this wind, it's not easy. By my calculations, if the woolly lanolins don't get their polka-dotted egg fruit by tomorrow afternoon, they will starve to death. I can't bear to think of a world without woolly lanolins. The wind is getting stronger. I can't land. We're going the wrong way. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Cookie, if anything can tempt the woolly landlings to eat something other than a polka dotted egg fruit, <laughs> it'll be one of your delicious chuckaberry tarts. Oh, I hope so, Uncle Boo. Let's turn left on the next crab crossing home. 
Look, there is a woolly landlord's grotto. Tom, pull up in front. <coughs> Give me the Chuckaberry church cookie. Okay, Uncle Boom. Good luck. <coughs> Hearts are where I've bottomed the rum. Uh, this cake you want, please. Sustenance of offering and you. For maid, has she this for us first. Uh, myself, uh, dressed. Uh, I, that uh, is the last twist. Uh, sun tuck cookie and sun tuck sailor, uh, Turtle Tom. Friends, my RVs. Uh, frighten me not, please. This cake, please, from land of sun tuck, us out all out to have fun. Blow me down. I didn't know he could speak landlease. I took it for a year once, but I can't remember a word of it. As a matter of fact... Shh, here he comes. Well, did they like them? Oh, they were touch. Hey, but once a polka dotted egg fruit eater, always a polka dotted egg fruit eater. Alas, we can now only hope that Princess Leela's expedition succeeds. This is the spot right here. Stow the oars, Pluto, and hand me my bait box. Uh, what are those? Never seen bait like that before. These are the only things the woolly lanolins will strike at. Uh, Captain! Captain! Look over there! <laughs> uh, fear not the great white Pluto. It feeds on smaller fry than you. The critics are speaking out about Teddy Ruxpin. Five-year-old Tammy Blevins says, he seems very nice. The bad wizard Tweed says, he spoiled all my evil schemes, and still he seems very nice. And an unnamed purple dinosaur on another network says, he seems too nice. Makes you wonder what he's up to. Oh, no. See for yourself on the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. Saturday and Sunday at 6 a.m., only on Teletoon. Take any curious little girl. Huh? 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 One wicked old witch. <laughs> Sprinkle in some adventure. Hang on! Oh! And lots of laughter. <laughs> then drop them into your favorite fairy tale. Come and taste the magic with the triplets. Every day at 6 30 a.m. What's the bestest thing about being a kid? Grandpa! And? We're going to have a picnic on the river. Yeah! Can we play now? Share your day with Teletoon and really enjoy being a kid, whatever your age may be. If you like the magic school bus... Let's go! Then you'll love Flying Rhino Junior High. Hang on! Flying Rhino Junior High. All new this fall on Teletoon. Will never find its way to the sea, but it must! Or the woolly land.